Selective editing enables you to isolate edits or adjustments to a specific area of a photograph. There are several reasons why you would only want to change a portion of a photograph. For example, we may be trying to add emphasis in one area or remove emphasis from another. Adjusting color and tone to isolated regions can help focus the viewer's attention on important areas in the photograph. And we can make selective edits to help lead the viewer's eye to the subject and keep the viewer engaged. When composing a photograph, my rule of thumb is typically less is better. I think about the subject and the story that I'm trying to tell, and then try to eliminate everything in the scene that doesn't contribute to that story. For example, I'll try to eliminate objects like branches that lead the viewer's eye to an unimportant part of the image, or people that might be distracting. I'll also look for shapes and patterns that become interrupted when the camera flattens the three-dimensional world down to two dimensions. While it's always the intent to remove distracting elements before taking the photograph, we know it's not always possible. Luckily, Lightroom has the tools that enable us to do this after the photo's been taken. One of the tools that helps with this is the healing tool. Now there are three different modes for the healing tool. Clone creates an exact copy of an area and it's a great choice if you want an exact duplicate. Healing selects information from within the image and copies it, but it adjusts the colors and tones to seamlessly remove the object. Content Aware Remove fabricates completely new pixels to retouch the area, and that's what we're gonna start with. We can select a size, and I'll set the opacity to 100% to completely remove the unwanted element. Then we can paint over any objects in the photograph that we want Lightroom to remove. We can remove these leaves, and then these blades of grass. Now, if the results aren't what we wanted, we can select another mode or click Refresh, and Lightroom will recalculate the filled area. We can choose to show overlay on hover, now we can see the pins for the areas that we've retouched. If you're in the clone or healing modes, you can also reposition the source area manually by selecting it and then dragging it to a new location. We can press and hold the eye icon to toggle between before and after. To select an isolated area in the image, I'll choose masking. I'll choose background and Lightroom will use artificial intelligence to automatically generate a mask. The areas that have the red overlay are the areas that will be affected when we make the adjustment. Here we can lower the exposure as well as the saturation, which places more emphasis on the birds. I want to give this second image a lighter feel. So in masking, I'll choose subject and then increase the exposure as well as the highlights and the saturation to put more emphasis on the flower. Then I'll add a second mask to adjust the background. Here I'll decrease the temperature and I'll increase the tint, and I'll decrease both the clarity as well as dehaze. Then to lighten the edges a bit more, we can add a radial gradient and adjust the shape and size and reposition as needed. Then check invert so that the adjustment affects the area outside of the ellipse and increase the exposure. Of course, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to masking in Lightroom. You can use Select People, and Lightroom will automatically find people in a photo and create masks for the entire person. Or you can choose more granular attributes and adjust areas such as eyes and skin and hair. You can quickly select objects in an image. There's a linear gradient tool that you can use for creating masks that slowly fade adjustments across photos, and even automatically select skies and enhance them. As you can see, Lightroom makes it easy to make as many adjustments to your image to make it look exactly how you imagined it. So give it a try and have fun.